of Uncle Sam's new cruisers is speeding across the Atlantic on the first leg of a shakedown cruise, which in the Navy means a long voyage to test the equipment and to train the crew. Every blue jacket aboard is in high spirits. The blue Mediterranean is ahead, and there will be many ports of call. And you know time wherever he goes, whether it's New York, China, or Timbuktu. Naturally, every man wants the ship to look its best after the long run from the States, so all hands turn to. Everything must be ship-shaped. There's plenty of paint, polish, and elbow grease. Finally comes the command, let go the anchor. A clatter of iron and the chain rushes down through the hawse pipes. Cheerful music to the Blue Jackets, for it means shore leave. Navy's out to see the sights in the little British town at the base of the Big Rock. Gibraltar, though in Spain, is an English possession. They found out one thing already. Whoever built Gibraltar must have run out of stones when they got around to the sidewalk. Steady, boy. Gangway. Here's a spot where we can get a good look at the rock. Where's that big sign you see in the magazine ad? I'll be a monkey's uncle if I know. Guess the company didn't pay its bill and they took it off. Well, let's go up and find out about that. Look out, sailor. Remember, you have sea legs, and it's a long way up. They don't know why they want to get up there, but it's something to do, so that's reason enough for a blue jacket. In the centuries gone by, a lot of invading armies tried this stunt, but they didn't get very far. Well, Columbus took a chance, so here goes anyhow. Look out, sailor. Now look what happened. Another ruined weekend. Pull yourself together, mate. There's a lot to see here and haven't much time. The local garage man's willing to help. all the spots of local interest. For two more francs, he'd sell them the whole works. If this isn't the life, I don't know what is. A French chauffeur and miles of scenery, free for the looking. This is a lot better than a drive-it-yourself. The driver doesn't speak English. You go where he takes you. But it's all paid for, so who cares? One part of the Riviera country is as interesting as the other. This Mediterranean cruise is a beaut. Visiting firemen think they're pretty swell. Hey, there's nothing compared to visiting sailors. Every shore leave, we see new sights, new people. Spanish, French, Italian, and now some of those North African folks. Tunis, with its graceful minarets, gives promise of real adventure. Give the Navy a day ashore, and they know as much about the town as the residents themselves. Picturesque bazaars and markets, and now some old ruins on the outskirts. The natives say these are the ruins of an old Roman Colosseum, built centuries before Uncle Sam had a Navy, so we'll give it the once over. In a couple of hours, we're going to know more about it than an archaeologist. Well, you can't help but say life in the Navy is great.
around the ruins and over the ruins and now to find out what's underneath. Perhaps a buried city or a souvenir to take home to the girlfriend. Well, full speed ahead, have yourself a time because nobody cares much about these old ruins anyway. The owner broke the lease long ago. There's no bad feeling on this treasure hunt. It's one for all and all for one. Ports of call are plenty on this Mediterranean cruise, but there's only one Venice. What a thrill when the ship heads toward the Grand Canal. It's no wonder Venice is called the Queen of the Adriatic. gondolas looking for customers are all the merchants of Venice. What a shore leave this is going to be. This historic city has the boys running around in circles, but somehow everyone ends up here in St. Mark's Square, where you find the famous pigeons that are fed by the tourists. The mechanical clockmen are famous the world over. They've been hammering out the hours for a couple of centuries. Talk about your mailman who goes walking on his day off. Here's a real sailor's holiday. They just got off a boat, and now they're getting in another one. But after all, Venice wouldn't be Venice without a ride in the gondola. No work in the singing oarsman. This is the real way to see Venice, the city of romance and grandeur. Words don't begin to describe it, so we'll let the Venetian atmosphere speak for itself. <laughs> 